it's a mind-boggling one this one we're dealing with the unknown here so we're looking for something that may not be here the phone was found on the bench there's leads there and normally she would be found by now it's, it's a difficult one it's a very difficult one police have done a very thorough dive search and they were here straight away that day when Nicola went in and normally you would expect to find Nicola at the bottom it's a bit of a it's a mind-boggling one this one someone said to me today there's a witness drowning and there's a person they'd gone in this river section I'd find them within the hour no problem at all but we're dealing with the unknown here so we're looking for something that may not be here rest in peace Nicola Bully will we ever find out the truth about what happened to the mother of two every day we're getting closer to the inquest in June and yet we still don't have any answers there hasn't been a single person arrested. There hasn't been any new leads. I wonder if the police have even investigated any new leads. Have they even investigated the previous leads that they had? For example, the two suspicious people that were seen the day before Nicola went missing and also on the day that she went missing. Have they found them yet? They were very suspicious, weren't they guys? Trying to hide their faces. Or the suspicious red van that was reported to them by multiple members of public. I wonder if they found out anything about that red van. The thing is guys, to find a suspect, you gotta be willing to find a suspect. You know, you gotta be willing to have an open mind. You got to be willing to look at multiple hypothesis not just a single hypothesis this is the problem because they've just been concentrating on the fact that Nicola just fell into the river they haven't concentrated on anything else have they lost opportunities to find these suspects this ridiculous attitude of just concentrating on a single hypothesis and assuming that she just fell into the river is completely ridiculous. Whoever done this to Nicola Bully has obviously planned this extremely well. They've covered every single detail to ensure that they're not going to get caught. For example, the CCTV being switched off at the caravan site that would have picked up what happened to Nicola Bully. The caravan site is just a stone throw away from where she went missing and yet the CCTV was switched off. Other things like her Fitbit not being synced just days before she went missing, even though it synced itself every day at least a thousand times until the few days before she went missing. So many little things have been planned in advance. That's why this whole thing seems to be like a riddle. It's because every single part has been thought of by the suspects. The suspect has thought about every way that they could have been caught. Whoever done this to Nicola Bully has obviously got contacts in high places. Some sort of influence with people like the police. The reason why I say that guys is because of the police's attitude towards the case. They've never treated it suspicious at all. Surely they've been misled by somebody to follow a false narrative. Either that or they're very corrupt. There have been some suggestions recently that the police may be investigating this in the background and they may be watching this suspect without letting people know. The thing is guys, I doubt that very much. I doubt very much that the police are doing anything at all. The reason why I say that is because they've never taken any lead seriously throughout this whole case. So to suggest that they're investigating this behind closed doors, you know, watching a suspect without him knowing or her knowing, I just can't believe that. I would like to believe that so that one day Nicola could get justice, but I just believe that that's wishful thinking. If we look at the case from the beginning, the police have never found anything suspicious. They truly believe that she just fell into that river. Otherwise, they wouldn't have kept pushing that false narrative. 
I believe that the one thing that proves, that really proves that the police are just not investigating this case properly and they're not watching anyone is the fact that they didn't even have a crime scene at the bench where Nicola went missing. They didn't have any cordon tape around the area to stop people walking through the scene. They didn't collect any forensic information. Now, if they believed from the beginning that something was suspicious, then surely they would have gathered that evidence. And we're all supposed to believe that Nicola Bully drowned in water just two feet deep, knowing that she was an excellent swimmer and she had a reputation of being a good swimmer. We're also supposed to believe that experts like Peter Folding couldn't find her in the river and yet a psychic medium could. They want us to believe some of the most ridiculous ideas. I feel like that they're underestimating how clever the public really are. They've been treating us like we're stupid from day one. And yet they're the ones who have speculated from the first day that she just fell into the river. If we listen to the latest press conference carefully, it just seems like that it's an ass covering exercise. Releasing private information about Nicola Bully and then making it look like she's a lousy alcoholic is just not right. Why would you say that to the public? Why would you tell the public that Nicola Bully was suffering from perimenopause? Why would you tell the public that Nicola Bully was struggling with alcohol? Why would you not say that? from the beginning. Why was the timing of that exactly when people were losing faith in the case? Is it because they were trying to paint a certain picture of Nicola to make it look like that she was just a lousy alcoholic and she must have just fallen into that river so that they don't have to investigate this case properly? You see, by making the mistake on the first day, by not having a crime scene, and not putting up cordon tape. Losing that crucial evidence is too late after that. If they tried to suggest that there was a third party involvement a week or two later, then people would have been questioning the fact that they didn't have a crime scene in the beginning and why they didn't have it in the beginning. You see guys, by making that initial mistake on the first day, by not having cordon tape and stopping people walking through the scene, by not gathering that crucial initial evidence in the first 24 hours, they lost the most important information that they could have gathered. And for the police to admit after the first 24 hours that they believed that there was a third party involvement, that would suggest that they were wrong. And why would they want to admit that they were wrong? Either someone very smart, someone very clever has planned this for a long time and has covered every aspect, every way that they could get caught. Or, like I've said before in previous videos, Nicola Bully was never there. In fact, guys, we don't even know if Nicola Bully is alive or not. Has she really died? We don't know that. There's actually no proof or any evidence. The problem is, we only know what they tell us. For example, there's no proof that she was ever near the bench. How conveniently she was on a team's call, but her camera was switched off. How conveniently her Fitbit wasn't sinking just days before she went missing. There's so many things that just don't make sense, or there's just so many things that have been thought about beforehand. It's very possible that the phone was left there and the harness was left there as a decoy. We just don't know. We can only speculate, just like the police have been speculating, you know, that she just fell into the river. That was speculation. That wasn't based on any facts or evidence. If Nicola Bully was near the bench, then why can't we use her Fitbit data? Because it wasn't sinking. If Nicola Bully was near the bench, why can't we 
find her on the CCTV because it wasn't working. If Nicola Bully was there on the 27th of January, then why haven't we been shown any other CCTV? Why have we only been shown CCTV from her house? And why did that have to come through a YouTuber? Why didn't that come through the media? Something's not right here. Something is really fishy. The more I look at this case, the more I start to think, was she ever there at all? I just can't seem to find any evidence. You know, there hasn't even been an independent witness, someone that doesn't know her, that saw her that day. You know, like, oh, I saw that blonde lady with the Gillette walking down this road. Not a single person. Apparently, the only person that saw her was someone that knew her. But not a single independent witness has come forward. That doesn't make sense. There was over 700 vehicles that drove past Blackpool Road that morning, or Garstang Lane, as the police like to call it. But not a single one of them came forward and said that they saw Nicola Bully. You know, that they saw a blonde lady with a dog walking down that road. Why is that? Why did nobody see her? You see, guys, the more we look into this, the more evidence there is that she was never there. Every day when I look into this case, every day when I go through all the evidence, all the information, more and more, I'm inclined to think that she was just never there. Which makes me think, is Nicola Bully dead or alive? And if she is alive, where is she? And if somebody did take her life, then did they take her life the day before? Did something happen before the 27th of January? Was the 27th of January all staged? Was it all staged to make it look like that she just fell into the river? Because something happened before the 27th of January. We've cleared completely the area um, where the bench is about another about a mile up from the bench but around where the phone was initially found so we've done very thorough searches all the way down to the weir the police divers have dived it three times extremely thoroughly and they are highly competent and we are and that area is completely negative there is no sign of Nicola